7,641 island make up the Philippine archipelago and in the middle of them all is Cebu, a beautifully elongated island province that is now one of the Asia's choice destinations. Like a multifaceted gem, Cebu offers you more things to see, more adventure, more unique experiences that create wonderful memories. The moment you arrive, you are instantly in the center of things, where tropical beaches and a bustling modern metropolis are just few minutes apart. More surprises awaits those who go beyond the city and wander off the sun-kissed countryside, up the green hillsides and vast coastline of the southern and northern parts of the island. Enter places frozen in time as you walk around manicured town plazas and beautiful ancestral houses. Connect to centuries of history embedded in Spanish-era churches richly adorned with antique sculptures and painting from distant past. This will preserve places of worship and stone structure stood the test of time. A testament to the Cebuanos' deep faith and reverence to their traditions and customs. Up in the lush mountain of this island are abundant waters that generously flow, flamboyantly displaying its beauty and majestic waterfalls that comes in all shapes and sizes hidden in deep in its valleys. Downstreams are the lazy rivers that support villages and a flourishing wildlife ecosystem. A mere dip in these waters refreshes your soul. For those seeking adventure, this island has endless options for the adrenaline thirsty ones. Climb mountains, jump high cliffs, swing along deep canyons, swing high, and ride free to your heart's content. One could also go down deep in the underground mazes inside mysterious caves where huge chambers and mineral-rich pools awaits you. Cebu is an adventure hub that will test your will, challenge your endurance, and ultimately satisfy the adventurer in you. At the central part of the island are the high mountain ranges that offer breathtaking landscapes, a perfect playground for nature lovers and campers. If there's one thing that Cebu is known for, it's the pristine white sand beaches with crystal clear aquamarine waters. That line is shores. These lies of tropical heaven have attracted travelers from all over the world. Not far from the beaches, 12 magnificent sea creatures that welcome you into their world, offering a glimpse of the mysteries of the sea. A world filled with colorful coral gardens that supports one of the world's most diverse marine ecosystems. Warm, gentle, and friendly Cebuanos that populate the city and towns of this island are eager to show you their pride. The land of their brave forefathers, the island where dreams are made, come and explore Cebu, the island of discovery, fun, and adventure.
Welcome to Bohol. Bohol is a beautiful island province located in the central Visayas region. It is known for its stunning natural attractions, rich culture, and warm hospitality of its people. One of the most popular tourist destinations in Bohol is the Chocolate Hills, a geological formation over 1,000 hills that turn brown during the dry season, resembling chocolate months. Visitors can take a scenic drive or hike up the viewing deck to witness this natural wonder up close. Another must-see attraction in Bohol is the Tarshirt Sanctuary, where tourists can observe the world's smallest primates in their natural habitat. These adorable creatures are nocturnal and have big eyes that make them look like they're in a constant state of surprise. Bohol is also home for some of the most beautiful beaches in the Philippines, including Aluna Beach, which offers crystal clear waters, white sand, and a vibrant nightlife scene. Visitors can enjoy water activities such as snorkeling, diving, and island hopping. Apart from its natural attractions, Bohol is also rich in culture and history. The province has several old churches, including the Baklayon Church, which is the most oldest stone churches in the Philippines. The Blood Compact Shrine, a monument commemorating the first treaty of friendship between the Spaniards and Filipinos, is also a popular historic site in Bohol. Overall, Bohol is a must-visit destination for anyone looking to experience the beauty of the Philippines. With its stunning natural attractions, rich culture, and warm hospitality, Bohol is sure to leave a lasting impressions on any visitors. Behold the place. Behold the serenity. Behold the feeling. Behold the warmth. Behold the taste. Behold the hospitality. Behold the friendships. Bohol has it all. It's all in Bohol. Behold Bohol.
Here are the historical, cultural, and heritage attractions in Negros Oriental. The Domaguete Bell Tower and Cathedral Every city has a complex history that is the foundation of its present society. In Domaguete, the best place to explore that history is the Domaguete Bell Tower. This beautiful stone tower helped save Domaguete during pirate attacks and also called citizens to mass. Today, the Domaguete Bell Tower is one of the city's best known landmarks and is thought to be one of the oldest surviving structures in the city. It can be taken as granted that the clock tower is, with the boulevard, the number one tourist attraction in Dumaguete. Lake Balanan is a lake situated in Chaton Negros Oriental in the Philippines. It is a freshwater lake in the forested mountains of the southern portion of the island of Negros. With a shape resembling a figure of eight, the narrowest point between the two main portions of the lake being only 90 meters wide. The lake is surrounded by mountain ranges and is fed by three tributaries, all located in the northern end. These are the Lamarau Creek at the northeastern corner with two waterfalls, the Balanan Creek at the middle of the northern end with another waterfall and the Nasigid Creek at the northwestern end. Budbud Kabog is a Visayan cake roll made from millet seeds. Budbud is a popular dish in the Philippines eaten for breakfast or a snack. It is a rice cake originating in the Philippines cooked with freshly grated coconut and sugar wrapped in banana leaves and steamed. Dumagete Express if the Bicolanos have Bicol Express, then the Domagueteños have this, the Domagete Express. A dish that definitely was inspired by the Bicol Express, but similarity stops in the coconut milk and chiles. This one is loaded with seafoods, young coconut strips, malungay leaves, and topped with crispy pork. Typically, seafoods like squid, fish and prawns are used but I guess other seafoods can be used as well as like mussels and scallops. Festivals and Special Events in Negros Oriental Buglasan Festival It is a grand celebration of culture and heritage in the province that is held mostly in its capital, the city of Dumaguete. Initiated and funded by the provincial government, it is a 10-day gathering of its town and cities, showcasing the best of what they offer and the uniqueness of their local cultures. Buglasan Festival is also known as the Festivals of Festivals, here in Negros Oriental. It is considered as the grandest celebration that occurs annually to celebrate camaraderie and peace among one another's town and municipality. Buglasan Festival is the first ever festival to cater other festivals here in the Philippines. This week-long celebration is occurring every year in the month of October. Some of the highlights of the Buglasan Festival is of course the Festival of Festivals, Showdown, and Street Dancing Parade where festivals all over Negros Oriental battles their way through culture, traditions, and dancing in order to achieve the honored title along with the search of Boglasan Festival, King and Queen. Pasayao Festival This festival is celebrated every 19th of March. Its highlights are the street dancing and showdown competitions. The Pasayao Festival is a combined word of pasalamat, pinaagi sa sayaw, which means thanksgiving through dance. This festival gives honor to the patron Saint Joseph the Worker. The Pasayao Festival is one of the most celebrated festivals in the city of Canlaon, Negros Oriental. 
because of the continuous abundant harvest of the city which flooded farmers' lands and crops and vegetables, Kanloan City became known as the Vegetable Basket and the Highland Garden of Negros Oriental. Major Industries in Negros Oriental Economy agriculture is another major industry in Negros Oriental, which has vast fertile land resources, main crops and sugar cane, sweet corn, coconut and rice. Fishing is the main source of income in coastal areas. People are also involved in cattle ranches, fish ponds, and rubber plantations, especially in Bayawan. Languages and dialects spoken in Negros Oriental. Cebuano and Hiligaynon are the main dialects generally spoken in the households of Negros Oriental. Cebuano is spoken by 94.75% individuals and Hiligaynon or Ilongo is generally spoken by 4.80% individuals, mostly in areas around Basay, Bayawan, and many more. How to get from Manila to Negros Oriental? Traveling between Manila and Negros Oriental is possible by flight, bus, and ferry. Flight guarantees the fastest travel on this route. Ferry is the slowest option. How long does it take to get from Manila to Negros Oriental? It can take you anywhere between 2 and 29 hours to travel between Manila and Negros Oriental depending on the means of transport you choose. Flight is the fastest way to travel between Manila and Negros Oriental. Flight will bring you to your destination in 1 hour and 35 minutes. Ferry does a much slower job and take about 1 day and 5 hours to reach Negros Oriental. Welcome in the island of Siquijor. It's the smallest province in Central Visayas region. Up to this day, it remains an island of Mystery City, or is normally known as Isla del Fuego, or the Island of Fire. It is because the island gave off an airy glow from the great swarms of fireflies. Sikihor is bursting with two response from marine reserve to waterfalls and plains, wet sands, beaches, and underground caves. Other activities such as caving, hiking, and diving are available as well. Getting on the island of Sikihor by conventional boat for modern passengers. Hotels in Sikihor will not be a problem since they offer more than 40 different accommodations. Food and delicacies. In Siquijor, Torta. This pastry has its long name derived from Spanish. Don't forget, this food is made of egg mixed with flour and milk and other ingredients. Festival in Siquijor. The Laab Festival. Also known as Isla de Fuego. Because of the swarm of five flies, Nassau in the island of night. Central Visayas is a home that will surely back. But you know what's the beautiful and unique factor of the Central Visayas? It's the people, the culture, the tradition, and the community that will ignite the heart of every person. It's more fun in the Philippines. And that fun starts here in the Central Visayas.